Hey guys and welcome back to the Road to the Completions Cape and in this video I have now got Max Cape. Some of you guys saw me wear it in my last video and you, you know congratulated me for it but I really wanted to show you guys a clip that's why I've been waiting so long and I didn't want it just to be like one clip of just me getting the Max Cape I wanted to have a few achievements also and um, so towards the end you will see me do a few more Completions Cape requirements but I've lost the clip. <laughs> like, this is one of the most important things that's ever happened to me. Like, this is as far as I've ever gone in this game. And I've lost the clip. So, I can't show you a clip. I've put it somewhere safe. And apparently, the place I put it, it's too safe. I just can't find it. Um, so, I've decided to give up. And now I've got Max Cape. So, you know, there you go. So, now I'm attempting to go for the completion escape, which is definitely my next step. But sadly, I have so many requirements to do. Like I, I didn't believe I had that many. I thought maybe I, I was like 10, 15 hours away. But I figured out I'm about 40 to 50 hours away, which is actually really, really sad. One of the biggest time consuming things I have to do is to do Livid Farm. Now, I really did think I was about four or five spells away, but apparently I've only unlocked, I think it's two I've unlocked. I've got to unlock like nine more pieces of music. I've got to do the fight kill, which some of you guys are going to be surprised of. I have never done. Um, I've got to find all the Zaos Memorial Crystals or the Seven Memorial Crystals. I've got to find 14 Bandos Memories of Ubiscus. I don't know what that is. I've got to do so much research on this stuff. And in case some of you are wondering why I've never done the fight kill, I've just never needed it. Like, I've been using magic and range so much. And just recently I've been doing melee. I've just never needed it. So I have been planning to get it because I need it for a few other requirements also. But I've just never actually really needed it. So that's why I've never gotten it. But I'm definitely going to do it soon. You will see me do a video about it later on in the month. So yeah, so I've got so much requirements. So I have to get on with them. I also wanted to thank you guys in this video because on my last completion escape video it was just before the bonus experience weekend and I asked you guys to post your runescape names down below in the description and if you were doing something that I really wanted to do I would add you and we'll do it together. I actually spent so long with some of you guys. Some of you guys were doing like simple things like the seven stones and I was like you know why not is away from keyboard that we can chat a little bit but funny enough we always just got spammed with people. If you, if you were with me you'll know what I'm talking about. Like we'll start chatting in public and people are like, oh my god, Navid, like what are you doing here? And I just want to thank you guys because that's actually pretty awesome. You know, being in game and you guys always greeting me is just really amazing. So big shout out to you guys who always spot me in the crowd. It it really does feel amazing. So thank you so much. You always make my day. But I also wanted to say thank you to everyone who spent so much time with me on the bonus experience weekend whilst doing agility. We were doing laps together round and round the Heffern course. And thanks to you guys, I spent four hours on the agility course completely without a break. And because of you guys kept me going, I was so thankful. And that's when I got my max cape and you guys came with me. It was really fun. So thank you so much. I also wanted to say that since I've got my max cape, I'm spending about two hours per day getting my completion escape requirements. And then the rest of the time, I really want to have a little bit of a break because I can't do... 20 hours of whatever I have to do in Livid Farm. So I usually take a break every two hours and I go and do something else. So this is where you guys come in. I want you guys to post your RuneScape names down below and what you're going to be doing for the next two to three days. If you're going to be doing something that I'm going to be doing, I'll add you guys. And if it's something fun, I will also add you guys. Just post whatever you're going to be doing for the next two to three days or maybe even up to a week. Because, But some, some of you guys don't plan that long. But what are you going to be doing for the next two to three days? Post it down below. And if it's something I really want to do, I'll add you and we can do it together. And we can have some fun, chat, maybe even like become you know really good friends in RuneScape. So don't forget to do that down below. So let's get back into the requirements for the completion escape and what I've been doing over the last two weeks to get closer to my completion escape. So what I've personally been doing is I've been focusing on the Harmony Moss because I really want to get the title for this clan and that will be one requirement down. I think I need 50 Harmony Mosses in total. And I've never done this before. I've never really needed to do it. That's why I've never done it. That That's me, by the way. If I don't need to do it, I never do it. Like, if I don't need to do still in creation, you'll never see me doing it. So that's why I'm quite new to a few things. Because I've just never needed to go and find out what to do. Because with the Harmony Moss, you can just buy it on the Grand Exchange. So I've never needed to do it. But I'm getting closer now to getting this title. 
by the next completion skate video you will see me get tons and tons of things because some of these things are really basic some of them are really long this next part isn't actually a requirement for the completion skate but i finally got my crystal hatchet just real quick i spent about it must have been about five six hours away from keyboard doing it i was quite proud of it because it's quite a long time in the making so yeah i got it and finally before i wrap up this video i've been working on my tusca mask i've spent three hours or so attempting to get this mask i've got four pieces so far two of them are the same and three are different i just need two more now to make my tusca mask and that's a requirement for the completion escape i've been working really hard to get it I got the first three pieces in about 10 minutes of being here and then I spent about two hours and a half, maybe even up to like three hours completely dry. So I've decided to take it a break. I've decided that I'm going to do it when it's my Slayer task. So recently I've been working on Slayer because it's, uh, it's part of a requirement for a completion escape thing. Um, so I've decided to only do it when it's my, my Slayer task. So it's, it's, it comes up quite often so I'll definitely be able to get it very soon. And hopefully my next Slayer task, I'll be able to have the full mask. You will see me get that very soon. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or you need any help or anything like that, just post it down below. And don't also forget to post your RuneScape names and what you're doing in the next two to three days. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you all tomorrow with another video. Peace out.